that that um, and I notice people think what we're doing. Well, actually, they don't they don't see what we're doing. They're really actually a lot of them are confused because it doesn't fit into any category, and that's purposely done. We we, we do not categorize ourselves as spiritual, or religious, or metaphysical, or philosophical, or social or any of these things, we're just presenting what, what we're, you know, we're just sharing and presenting something real. But it's just never, if you can rely on something, you can rely on this, it's never what you think it is. It's all, It's just, uh, it's always better. It's always better. Um, but one has to move the personal self over a bit so to allow this to come in, and then it comes in as it will, um, you know, at its own its own uh, volition or own, you know, whatever it wants to come in as. Because again, we we can mock things up with our imagination. We can consider things, have ideas, but even those things. Um, it's almost better to move those over to the side a little bit. You can still have them. That put them to the side so this reality can come in and then be its wonderful self, um, and you'll see it and perceive it, and that's where the adventure is. As as one lets go of the personal self and lets us in, um, wow! You see the potential. It just it's you're ever ever going to be becoming more aware and perceiving more, and it just life gets so much more big, bigger all the time and then and then you get past the the physical all this physical stuff that people are stressed out about you know you don't have to get um, put so much attention on it because it, it doesn't really mean a lot um, because it's temporary and you get a, you're gonna move on into um, other areas other positions so um, it's better to uh, plan for what, what, when you are going to lose the body, what are you going to do or what's your intent? We talk about intent, too. So develop an intent so um, when you're in a different position, you have something to work off of. And the best thing is to sing the new you, you, and um, get your answers that way. That, that's one way to do it. Well, it is true that dreams have been a real mystery to each and every man since humans first came to remember or and tried to remember their dreams. The ancient Romans were not believers in an afterlife, yet they surely did believe in their dreams. Almost every Roman emperor was elated or ejected by the dreams that they would have. Those who did the interpretations, the soothsayers, were always in fear of losing their life if they were to give the wrong meaning of the emperor's dream because they would be eliminated. If the dream did not sound good, as there was always someone else to take their place. It was not the best of times for those who could see beyond the veil into other worlds, as history has always proven. It has been so brutal and uncaring. Today we have laws that protect each of us from the barbaric nature that still resides in the human mind. In today's world, all the clever traps and tactics of another person are done in a business-like or, moreover, an illegal standpoint to where one is bound up with contracts and obligations of drudgery. Each person has to make their way in this world, and there are endless ways to do this. As most people like to take the, the road of unconsciousness and think in their minds everything will turn out for the best for them 
just as it should, and they go blindly on their way. Our experiences with our dream visions can definitely be therapeutic, and even some of the medical authorities have caught on to this effect. Yet, dreams in their reason for being still remains a mystery to those who have professed to know more than life itself. As one reads further, they will learn they can eventually surpass all the limitations of this world and eventually discover the real happiness and real freedom. For those who are chronic warriors, their dreams act as a place of rest from nine to five and all its complications. Without our nightly time and adventures, the human mind would rather too much, would just gather too much material and emotional stress and drama and become fused out. And so while the body sleeps, a person can get away from their personal mind and take a rest and release some of the daily pressures of their material life. When a person's life becomes a little bit too much, they should take the time and add a nap or two to their daily routine. Ever since I was in construction in their, my early age, I would sleep for a short break at lunchtime. As I did, I would get up refreshed and ready for the day. Can someone say anything about that? Just a little rest, I you would, know? I was just that, that's gonna thinking clear your mind. Yeah, you see, you see things differently from a different angle. I think things aren't as bad after you wake up from your dreams, from your nap. What do you think, Dean? Tim has something. Oh, Tim, do you have something? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking how important it is to even um, have the guidance of a a real guide to help. Um, with the interpretation of dreams until a person can um, do it on his own, understand his own dreams. And also these new books that Dwayne has put out with the the gift of the new you, you, you song um, has, it's actually a warning if anyone is listening, that there are people on this realm, this physical realm, that are called brutalitarians, authoritarians, whether you want to call them kings or popes or presidents or or reptilians, that um, this is the way to, to... to escape this human farming prison planet, to get into real universes of real freedom where there are no authoritarians and brutalitarians and everyone is free to do whatever they want as long as they're not interfering with others. So it's a very important gift that's being presented for however long it will be presented, the opportunity to test this new you, you, you song for yourself and read. And if that connects you with, if you're really sincere, that you want to know what life's about and get some of, um, get Dwayne's, guidance through his books that this is a what I would call a treasure in my life after all the experiences that we all go through it's um 
these dreams. It's kind of like this is called a passing dream, just being in this physical world. We came here for a reason, and it was to learn what isn't real so that we can find out what is real, have a comparison. Anyway, that was just some of the thoughts that um, I was thinking about. Well, those who recognize the new presentation and then become the new students of the real guides become more aware of the fact that they can predict their own future as well as learn to heal themselves. Plus, solve many of their present and personal solutions and situations within the arena of their dream visions. Within the unseen world, the new student is also introduced to the different levels of life that most of the unaware public knows nothing about. When Paul introduced his presentation, he used the term initiations, which is now for the old schools and ancient masters of spiritual thought, who are mainly ruled by the space gods. Everyone needs to go through the basis until they finally discover and recognize the real guides. The all is can only be always new, never old and outdated. And so it is a new wave which takes the place of the rod of power because the great reality is always so much greater as each nowness occurs past present and future or human views. The always is always new you now. It is definitely true the real universal guides know more about a person's dream visions than any of the modern scientists who have monitored people while they are asleep. The authorities of today have no idea to the cause and how the person's dreams come about, nor do they know how to enter the dream arena and assist each person with their overall needs. The mechanical devices and conclusions are mainly of this world and do not totally penetrate into the four other subtle bodies. Each one of us has it relate to other levels of life in the psychic dreams and realms. Science and all of their conclusions can only come about from the effects of a person's dreams and not the true cause. They may discover from a person's personal level that each one of us is having our nightly adventures and draw some conclusions and form relationships accordingly. But overall, they are lost to the true meaning of the original source. The modern authorities will always make a good show of what they are doing with all their complicated high-tech equipment that usually impresses the onlookers. And so when they make any statements about what they have or have not discovered about dreams, it will all look so professionally done, yet for the most part, it is just a lot of hot air and a lot of sound good ideas because they are being paid to say so. 
they really have no idea what real freedom is. Tim or, or Claudie? Yes. Oh, yes. Right on. My little uh, last little bit for tonight is uh, daydreams. Uh, we forget sometimes to just take a few moments and daydream about a, a pleasurable activity or uh, maybe a vacation spot we'd like to visit. To me, that's one of the times when we can relax enough to allow ourselves to become calm and peaceful and enjoy a life as it is. It only takes a couple of minutes to take a little daydream and explore a new part of ourselves. Uh, That's my comment for tonight. Thank you. I was just thinking how when we share that that's kind of like the daydream, how to share like this these hints to people that are the the real guides present in our lives or get to hear us or see us and um that we it's like imagination the daydreaming to be able to think of ways to share and for everyone And I noticed uh, how Dwayne interprets dreams. It's that everything's related to the is. That's how he does it. And then he has its own special language almost for the interpretation. It's it's like uh, learning a language. Um, so it's, again, it's uh, using um, or not using the literal mind and, and, and letting go and and just being uh, being now and being real uh, with what you have. And yeah, the daydreams are, it's almost like you're the, what Dwayne described as letting go of the stress, you're just letting go. And, and like the kids in school who now are, they think they have a attention deficit order because they're daydreaming. Well, they're just natural. We did it when we were kids. I'm, I'm 69, you know, people did it. As kids, we did it all the time. We weren't sent to the office or the nurse's office, you know, because it's just normal. So adults do it, kids do it, uh, maybe animals even do it. <laughs> so it's, it's it's a pleasurable activity like karate, and it's, it's a pressure release, stress release, and it may, again, get you, uh, you know, to to see more, actually, by by letting go of the literal mind and, and just uh, seeing what, what comes of it. Well, I certainly thank you all for all your wonderful input and your insights. And we know now a little bit about our dreams, just a little, <laughs> but it, but if we relate it to the all is, and that we're here for a purpose, I think we'll make it through, and uh, we will perceive instead of see. Thank you so much, everyone, and and Dean, Val. Thank you so much for for always being here. You're, you're such a comfort, and such, a, and your insights are wonderful. Thank you, every one of you. You just, you've added so much to all of us. Thank you, and good evening from Lila's corner. Good night and sweet dreams. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Happy dreams.